Hello everyone, I'll be explaining uh, how to solve the questions corresponding to the homework of the week one of the Zoom Camp. So the first uh, question is about counting the records. How many taxi trips were there on January 15? I did here a select count from, this is my schema. You may have a different name here. And this is the name of my table where I loaded all of the trip data corresponding to January 2021 for the yellow cups. Um, I apply only one filter on the pickup date time. I do a type casting here to date. This way I don't have to manage, I don't have to deal with the timestamps and we can just simply do equal to 2021-0115. Let's execute this to get the response. And the answer is 53024. The next question is about the largest tip for each day. On which day it was the largest tip in January? For this one, we once again start from the schema that I have and my table where I have all of the trips for January. And um, here I apply the function date trunk to the pickup date time. This way, what I can do is I can get only the day for each pickup day time. And I ignore completely the timestamp and this way I can already um, group by using the pickup day. So here I have the group by, I could also have done one and uh, it's the same. And then what I do after grouping by, by day, I calculate the max of the field tip amount. I name this max tip and then an order by the max tip descending order. This way I will get for each day the max tip that was there for that given day and I will get first the max max tip that was there in the whole result set um, because it will be ordered by uh, descending and I apply the limit one because I'm only interested in getting the first result out of that query. Let's see. And the result is 2021 um, 0120, which is fifth. This one is the correct answer and it was not needed, but we can see that the max tip was $1140 uh, dollars with 44 cents. The next question is about the most popular destination. What was the most popular destination for passengers picked up in Central Park on January 14? Enter the zone name, not the ID. If the zone name is unknown, missing, right, unknown. This gets tricky because we need to use the taxi zone lookup. This was the second table that uh, we imported. I have it in this table in my database. And the reason why we need this is because we need to filter on the pickup zone by the name because we know it's central park, but we don't know the ID. But then we also need it to provide it for the drop of zone um, in the result set. For this, we do two joins. The first one is an inner join with the taxi zone lookup. My base table is the same as before, so the one with all of the trip data for January. And the first one is an inner join with the taxi zone lookup on the location, on the pickup location ID. And um, the reason why I do an inner join is because I know that I only want records that will have an entry in the taxi zone lookup because they must have a description, therefore they must have an entry in the taxi zone lookup. This way I can then um, apply a filter on the pickup zone, zone, so this was the description of the zone, um, that um, where the description is like a uh, central park. I then have to do a second join, which is um, a left join on the drop off location ID from my taxi data. The reason why I do here a left join is because it may happen that even though the pickup location existed in the taxi zone lookup, the drop off location did not exist. But we still want to see those records. And that's the reason why we do a left join here. And then um, another thing that we have to do is filter. We do the same filter that we applied before in the first query on the date time. Uh, I type a cast it to date as well. And that way we can just put the date here. And then 
we're going to show the dropout zone, this zone that I'm getting from the taxi lookup. I'm going to apply a coalescence this way if, because of the left zone, there is no entry for that zone in the table, in the taxi zone lookup, we'll still get unknown as a result, like it said in, in the question. And um, group by this zone, because we want to know per zone, per drop of zone, how many trips were there. And we apply a count. Here's the group by. And then what we do is the count, I named it as count trips. And then I just do order by count trips descending. Because again, same as, same as the tip, we want to get the max, the one that had the max amount of counts per zone. And then we limit by one because we are only interested in knowing the first result to answer this question. And the question is, um, and the answer is upper is side south with 97 trips on that day. The next question is about the most, most expensive route. What's the pickup drop off pair with the largest average price for a ride? Calculated based on total amount. Enter two zone names separated by slash, for example, Jamaica Bay, Clinton Inst. Um, and then again here, if the zone names are unknown, we want to write unknown. So this is very similar. We do again from, and the base table is the taxi data. We then do a left shown here on the pickup location ID. The reason why I took here left shown because unlike the other one, we don't have a filter on the zone. This means that if the pickup zone doesn't exist in the taxi zone lookup, we still want to know about that ride. We're just going to take unknown. And then the left shown is here the exact same. And the first, um, the first field that we're going to get is a concatenation. So I apply the function concat. And here I have three parts. I'm going to separate this so to make sure that it's very clear what are the three parts in my concat function. The first one is the zone that I'm getting from pickup zones from the taxi zone lookup. And I'm applying here a colossus because if for any reason this zone ID doesn't exist in the taxi zone lookup, then I'll get the unknown here. Then I concat with the slash, like we want to see in the result. And then I concat again the coalescence between the drop off zone, zone for the taxi zone lookup and unknown. And I'm going to name this field as pickup drop off. I use this field to group by. Here we can use one or we can also use pickup drop off. It's the same, whatever you find easier. And as an aggregate function, we're going to take average of the total amount. I name this as average price right and I order by average price right descendant limited by one. Let's see. And the result is alphabet CT NA. So it's slash NA. Um, at the end, the city did uh, existed in the uh, taxi zone lookup, but it's really unknown. And the average price ride was $2,292 with 40 cents. So I hope um, this way the solutions were a little bit more clear and you were able to do the homework successfully.